Hey everybody, Merlin Silver here, back again and continuing our short series of videos on Macs for Live devices. Now in my last video we had a quick look at Poly, so if you didn't catch that, be sure to check out the link in the descriptions and get up to speed. But for today, we're going to have a look at Multi. Now Multi is a fascinating and sometimes perplexing synthesizer. It works a little bit differently from the workflow we're used to, and as a result you can get some really, really cool material and ideas out of it. So not only am I going to be showing you the kind of sounds you can make, but I'm also going to show you a workflow with this device. And this is something that I found really, really useful in generating new musical ideas. So without further ado, let's get right down to it. So welcome to Multi. This is a really interesting synth, and I'm hoping after seeing the workflow I'm about to show you, you'll get a lot of use out of it. I've got the beginnings of a track going on here, pretty basic stuff so far but a perfect opportunity to show you around this device. Let's have a listen. Okay, so compared to my previous videos, you might be thinking this track is a little simplistic and perhaps even cheesy. Well, I agree, and this is completely on purpose. Multi spits out such a wide variety of sounds, and I want it to be as easy as possible for you guys to hear what's going on. So as you can see here, I've mapped out the parameters I want to use, as well as the randomize function to macros in an instrument rack. In combination with an envelope device, Multi is constantly and randomly generating new sounds and ideas for me. I'll walk you through the workflow here in a minute, and I've made the project file available to download for free, so you guys can grab that setup and just get going. But let's have a quick look at this track first. I've assembled a drum loop in this group, and a bass line over here, from the Leviathan pack by Black Octopus Sound. It's an absolute beast of a pack, and I highly recommend that you grab that if you're into making contemporary bass music like me. So on top of that, I've used Poly, which we looked at in my last video, to make this simple lead patch. All the other sounds you're hearing are coming from Multi. So before we go deeper into the technique, let's walk through how this device works. So Multi is a multi-mode synthesizer, comprising of six different sound engines. Each engine has its own four unique parameters that manipulate the sounds it generates. As well as this randomizing button, we have a few global parameters here on the right of the device. Attack, release and volume. Mode 1 is a feedback FM synth. It uses frequency modulation to generate its sound, and also introduces some feedback onto the modulator. We can dial in the strength and the depth of the FM here. Add more harmonics to the signal with brightness. And add feedback. Cool, so mode 2 is a mono arpeggiated lead synth. You can choose between some different arpeggio patterns here, and dial in the speed, scroll through this morph filter, and add extra oscillators at 5, 7 and 9 semitone intervals from the input MIDI note. Mode 3 then is an analog 8 voice subtractive synth. You can choose between filter types here, dial in the filter cutoff, apply an LFO to the filter here, notice how it increases in both depth and speed, and finally you can detune the oscillators. In mode 4, we find a sample playback device, like a simple rumpler, that can provide both single notes and sequential trills. We can choose between the various sounds here, 
and scroll between single note and chord modes here. The chord type can be selected here, and the speed of the trill can be dialed in here. Moving on to mode 5, we are presented with a Carpless Strong style physical modelling synth. This approach to simulating string and percussive instruments uses a short looped waveform and a filtered delay to generate its sound. We can add brightness, the amount of noise that is injected into the initial impulse, the simulated pickup position, and the length of the modelled string. Finally, we have an additive synth in mode 6. This section makes some awesome atonal sounds reminiscent of IDM from the 90s. The richness controls the number of oscillators. And we can control the frequency spread here. The rates of the timbre variation. and the depth of the timbre variation. So this simple looking device is actually capable of an entire universe of sounds. Each of the modules complements the other Live and Max for Live devices included with Suite, and they offer a great alternative to operator or analog as a source for sound design. The thing I use Multi most for, however, is as a compositional aid. We don't really have time to go into the subject today, but Cool and Response is an incredibly important and powerful concept in composition. Two simple sounds locked into a conversation is infinitely more engaging to the listener than a million pieces of impressive sound design flying around randomly. I try to remember this at the early stages of my compositions, and often begin with two simple synths talking to each other, so to speak, once I have a solid foundation of bass and drums. So honing in on this rack I've made, I've taken advantage of Multi's random button, and mapped it to the macro here. Behind this I have a MIDI rack. One channel is empty, passing all the MIDI notes onto the synth. This other one here is muted, and it works just as a control channel. I've mapped a very short envelope to the random macro and dialed it in so that every time a MIDI note is received, it moves the macro over its centre value and back again, triggering the random button. You could of course use an LFO or draw in the modulation manually, but I wanted the sound to change at every note pressed just for the purpose of this tutorial. I've also mapped the mode selection to this macro and drawn in some automation curves that either select a mode or scroll through them. So the next stage of my workflow, which I won't replicate here, is to set up a resampling channel for this multi-instrument rack. Loop the arrangement, hit record and go and make a cup of coffee. So here you can see I've spliced together my favourite slices of the recording I made earlier, adding even more details to the mix all from the same MIDI source. So let's have a listen back one last time. Great stuff. So as you can see, an absolute well of creativity going on here, a really different approach to coming up with melodies and material, and something that I hope you'll find inspiring that you can take away and work with a bit further by yourselves. 
So that's about all I've got time for for today. In my next video, we're going to be going on and having a look at more simpler. But for now, I've been Merlin Silver, and this is Warp Academy. Thanks for watching.